I'm back again and this week we are making a healthy, low carb, clean chicken pad thai. I say we just get to it. Let's go. The first thing we're gonna do is cut one pound of chicken breast into one inch squares. In a large saute pan, you're gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil and we're gonna heat the pan to medium high heat. Now we're gonna add the chicken and we're gonna let that cook for about 12 to 15 minutes until it's cooked through. Now while that's cooking, we are going to make the sauce over here. To the bowl, we're gonna add one tablespoon of peanut butter, two tablespoons of honey, two tablespoons of lime juice, one and a half tablespoons of rice vinegar, and one fourth cup of coconut aminos. Now we're gonna whisk that all together gonna set that aside. Once the chicken's cooked, we're gonna remove it from the pan and add it to a large bowl. To the pan, we're going to add one cup of red peppers, um, sliced like this. Two cups of sliced carrots, or I use these. A half cup of chopped onion. And one tablespoon of minced garlic. Let that cook for about 10 minutes. After that's cooked for about 10 minutes, we're going to add one cup of bean sprouts. And we're going to let that cook for an additional two minutes. Alright, now what we're going to do is push all the veggies to one side of the pan and we're going to crack two eggs. Now we're going to scramble them up and let them cook. And then once that's cooked, we're going to mix it all together. Remove the veggies from the pan and set them aside. Now we're gonna add the sauce mixture to the pan. Um, you don't need to clean the pan, but I know that I'm gonna need a bigger pan, so I, I got a bigger one. We're gonna bring that to a boil, and we're gonna let it cook for one minute at a boil and keep stirring it the entire time. Okay, add five ounces of zoodles to the pan, and we're gonna get, let it cook for about a minute. I actually am gonna add 10 ounces. Then we're going to add the chicken back in and the veggies. We're going to toss it to combine it all. Garnish that with some cilantro and some peanuts and give it a taste. All right, let's give it a taste. It looks good. Now, I am going to pair today's with my favorite Keto Up. It's a root beer float. I'm pumped with this one. Um, it's my favorite, so that's why I chose it. I don't know if it pairs well, I just wanted to drink it. <laughs> so, cheers. Yo, that was so good. Um, I'm actually blown away. Two thumbs up for me. I apologize, they vacuum in the hall every time I try to make a video. But, um, so good, I highly, highly recommend that. Um, yeah, just really good go for it. Especially like, I couldn't even tell that they were zoodles. Like once they were all cooked and everything, it just tasted like it was regular noodles. So um, definitely did the trick for me. Two thumbs up. And that's it for recipe Thursday this week. Now remember, you can vote over in our Facebook uh, recipe group on Mondays and then I make whatever recipe wins. I, I share two, res uh, two potential recipes, whatever you all vote on, we end up making and then I share it on Thursdays. So if you aren't in that group yet, go ahead and get yourself in that group. It's in the description, the link to the group. So click that. And uh, yeah, I'll be back here again next week for another recipe Thursday. Now remember, it, I drank the keto up in this. If you are interested in that, there's a link for that below as well. Um, that's my favorite. But all right guys, till next time, peace.